Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of my video, I am doing a one year review on my Palm Springs backpack. I was supposed to do uh, film this in August and get it up in August, but it's now September. So basically, if you don't know, I bought this Palm Springs backpack last year in August when I came to Melbourne for my interview for my uh, school and um, I had saved hard for this bag six months or maybe even longer for this bag I originally wanted the mini but they didn't have it in store for me to look at so I didn't want to get it and not I don't know I just ended up got I ended up being drawn to this because it just had suggested that I try it on I didn't like it at the start because of the strap because it's bulky and you know I just didn't like the look of it because I'm a bit patina, I didn't think it'd suit me, but it ended up looking pretty good. And when there's weight in the bag as well, it kind of flattens anyway, it doesn't look as bad. I did actually do an unboxing video before this, but I deleted it because I'm a hijabi now. And I also did a 2016 Louis Vuitton haul earlier this year before I started wearing the hijab, so that's been deleted too. I also did a review on my Pusha Matisse, a one year review, but again, that was when I wasn't a hijab, a hijabi. So if you want me to do that again, let me know in the comment box down below and I'll do it again. So I'm also going to basically do a what's in my bag first because I got stuff in there and I was asked to do a what's in my bag for this. So I guess now is a good time as ever to do it. So I'll leave the time down the bottom if you don't want to see this and you just want to get to the review and you can just continue watching on but anyway for those who are interested to see what's in my bag let's get on with it so I did put my camera in here when I was coming home from the event that pretty much fit in there like right there fit perfectly it was heavy obviously but it fit fine you do have to shuffle things around a bit to make it sit properly but it managed to get in there and I've got other knickknacks in here too so second of all I bring water with me everywhere I don't really drink that much water but I do find I get a bit thirsty because I do take public transport a lot and I just don't want to pay for water <laughs> let's be real so yes yeah, so I've got this just a plastic Voss bottle so it's not too heavy um, for my bag so I bring this to school as well my school bag so yeah there's that I also carry this around it's got all my essentials in there like it's got um, I keep my sanitary stuff in there I've got um, Nurofen I've got wipes I've got my pawpaw cream I've got perfume I've got every hijabi's emergency kit with more pins and stuff and bobby pins I got this which had wipes in there um, but they dried out so I took them out but I used it to keep the house key in there I've got my two rings here which I always forget to put on because I always keep it in here usually when I'm like at my old house I would have it where all my perfume is and deodorant and everything and then I can just grab it but because I keep it in here I always forget and then I've got these little I don't even know what's called products and it's the Asper product and this one is the sweet orange lip balm this is the ultra hydrating face moisturizer and this is a uh, hand cream as well and it is the sweet orange and sheer hand cream so I like to have the lip balm um, but I've had I've got my be my purple cream in here anyway but that's there as well because sometimes I take this out and forget to put it back in hand cream so I get dry hands and I've got face moisturizer as well in case I forgot to moisturize I'm not wearing any makeup and I also got this this is from witchery I got it in a competition that I had won last year I think or maybe even the year before before I used to store like all my electronics in there but they just don't really fit in here and this just was really handy to put stuff that I need on a daily basis um, I'll just quickly get this out I've got something in here and it's just mint um, it's got the seat let me see that got my lens which is the 50 millimeter 50 millimeter 1.8 lens which is my favorite lens in the entire world um, I got hand sanitizer and this I just came across a couple of weeks ago, it was $7 at Woolies, but it doesn't have an alcoholic smell, it doesn't have a very overwhelming smell, and I can't handle strong smells, especially alcoholic ones. 
that you, you get in hand sanitizers. Um, so this is kind of like an antibacterial spray, active 24 hours, protects the sanitizer, stays active even after washing, alcohol free, which is the best, and uh, kills 99.99% .99 of germs. But the other best part is, watch, watch it guys, watch. It's spray. Oh my god, it's spray. So I don't really like the liquidy hand sanitizers that you get from the supermarket and stuff. And I have my Bella Box little pouch as well with all my favourite lipsticks. And um, I've got another lip balm in there as well. And just all my favourite like go-to lipsticks. Which I'm pretty sure I've shown you so many times. And I've got my hot hard drive in here because... Tali was taking photos of me and normally I bring this and she just puts it on here straight away So yeah, I bought that just in case. That's all what was in my bag today. I quite carried all of this I can even fit an umbrella in here as well uh, My camera like I just said um, Yeah, and I'm pretty sure well no, I know that Jerusha Couture uses this bag as well for all her baby essentials for her baby, so Yeah, it's a pretty good bag. I get a lot of compliments on this bag. It's the best thing ever and I can't believe I've had this for like a year now, it's crazy. I'm really bad with like dimensions and stuff, so I'm gonna get that out for you. But you can you guys can just easily Google it as well. But to save you the trouble, I will get it out for you. Um, I can't remember how much I bought it for. It's a lot more now. I'll even tell you what it how much it is, how much it retails now. But I think I got it for like 2260, but I'm not hundred percent sure. And right now it retails to 2650 and there is an add to shopping bag button on there so I believe it's still available because I've noticed usually if it says call to purchase it means it's not in stock all right so it's a monogram coated canvas as you can see it's soft calfskin trim with foam backing which is there sorry at the back behind the straps which you probably can't see leather scarf loop and padded leather top handle which are these ones and you can adjust the shoulder straps as well here I've actually never even changed them at all the lady when I bought it the Estee pretty much did it for me I've just never touched it because I'm just happy with how it sits so it's got it's got a double zip closure which just goes along here and there's a lip here as well that covers the um, zipper and then it's got an engraved zipper pull here and it's got LV on it and it's still in pretty good condition it's still shiny and gold it's got a scratch on there um there's a few minor scratches where like here which is nothing to be concerned about and this one's fine too considering I have a rusty old <laughs> pom pom thing on there it's rose gold but I don't really care I don't really I'm not really phased about mixing hardware to be honest and um what i like about this bag with the zip up on this is look i will admit it is kind of hard it's actually a lot smoother because i've had it for a year now but it's still you still have to give it a little if that makes sense um but the reason why i don't mind that is because it's great for traveling so if you were to travel to paris or london or you know just in melbourne anywhere really busy this is really great for a traveling bag because you don't have to worry about anyone trying to open it up because you will feel it 100%. You have to hold this to really get it in, you know? So imagine this being on your back on your back, and someone trying to open it. You'll just be able to feel it because I actually have to put pressure on it to open it and you'll just 100% know someone's trying to open your bag. So that's the best thing about it. So another thing it has is a pocket here as well. And again, it has the lip to cover the zip and it is actually hard to get in there, but you can just use this and pull it open. I don't really put anything in there that I, I will need often, so that's why I kept my um, mint in here because I don't need it. And it's also a great pocket as well to put your girl stuff, like sanitary stuff that you may need, because then you don't have to worry about you know opening this part, trying to find it, or you're trying to get something else out. But then you, you know, and you have people around you, and they might be able to see you in your bag, and you know you don't want people seeing your sanitary stuff. Let's be real. And it's very spacious inside, but also there's another pocket in the inside if you wanted to keep any, I don't know, whatever. I've got the booklet in here that came with it as well. Oh, it's a bit stained. 
Anyway, yes, yeah, so I pretty much kept the book in there. It's a bit bent. Looks like it's been wet. Something wet has been in here, but it's fine. Oh, I should probably tell you where the date coat is. So this is not very organized. I'm just kind of going with it. But, so when you're looking at it, face front, it's on the right hand side at the bottom. And it's like a, it's a leather tab. Um, what is it? And it's FL2166, so that's the 26th week, I believe, of 2016. So, how crazy that's been a year since I've had that. I believe the day code at this moment is the first and second letter. No, the first and third letter is the week that it was made, I believe. But again, don't quote me on that. My knowledge about the product as much as I love it is, is not like amazing so I'm still learning and I don't really do my research to be honest like I'm just not a research person <laughs> don't really like school guys I hate research but anyway yeah so that's that um oh it's got this little thing here too which I think is I don't I mean I don't really know what it's for to be honest maybe a scarf I really don't know I've watched a fair my fair share of videos in regards to the PM Palmer Springs backpack no one really knows what it is but it's not really an inconvenience to you anyway. So yeah, I guess I'll just let you know what I think about the bag. Like I said already, I think it's a great travel bag. I also think it's a great everyday bag. It's also very stylish. It really, sorry, it really adds an edge to your look. I pretty much wear it with everything. It's also been pretty much my go-to since being in Melbourne because it's, you know, it's, it's a city. I want to be comfortable. I want to be hands-free. Um, although it was the cause of me losing my <laughs> wallet. But anyway, yeah, so that's that. I carry this around because there's no fichetta, so I don't have to worry if it rains and I don't have, have to worry about, you know, getting any stains on there. Um, it's actually getting a lot softer now. It was a little bit, not extremely stiff, but it, it's really soft now. Like, I can easily do that, basically. But, yeah. <laughs> I definitely don't just shove it in my suitcase dead flat. So... Anyway, so let's see if there's any wear and tear, like I said, on this um, zipper. The zipper pull is fine. There's not really that much tarnish on them. They're still very clean and shiny. Like I said, this one here has a, a minor scratch on there. It's not even a big deal. And this one is fine too. And there's no hardware. Like um, It's nothing. Like It's still gold. It's completely gold. Um, this, I don't even use it, so it looks the same to me. If anything, these two tabs on the side that I totally forgot to mention to you when I was describing the bag. Um, it's just kind of got that curve, but you know, it's not really a big deal. So I believe you hold those side tabs to close and open the pockets apart, but I kind of just always hold the lip or the, whatever it's called, the cover here anyway, to be honest. And this has a bit of a bend as well, but again, you know, it's nothing really that big of a deal. If anything, I think it's still in pretty good condition, but like I said, I'm pretty... I actually, you wouldn't even know because I deleted all my videos. I always have mentioned in my luxury videos that I deleted that I'm very careful with my items because they do cost a lot of money. I saved hard for it. I want to make sure that I try and keep it as good as possible, but I do think that it could take a lot. It's very durable, basically, and I love it. Let's check if there's any tear where the strap is. Not. There's no, like, any loose hems coming out. The hardware on the strap is pretty good, too. It's got Louis Vuitton on there. Yep. pretty good for one year and I have worn it a lot this year too like in heaps so it's pretty good condition so let's tell you the dimensions of it because I was supposed to tell you that sorry guys I don't know the, the dimension but compare it to my head that's the dimension guys I'm, I just don't know but it's a pretty good size obviously it's a lot bigger than the mini the minis I think is like that small I think Again, don't quote me on that. I've never seen it in real life. So I hope that was helpful for you guys and maybe help you make a decision on if you want to get the bag or not. 
um, I love it so much. Thanks for watching guys. Again, if you want me to do another review on my Pichet Matisse, let me know in the comment box down below and I'll do that. Thanks for watching. Ciao!